hey everybody welcome back to my channel so um let me tell you my hair experience um i dyed my hair for the first time and when i was 16 years old i got some blonde highlights and after that i was about 17 i put some low lights in my hair which if my hair was black at the time with blonde highlights that means i put like brown highlights in my hair so it kind of like did this nice transition going on and then from there i dyed my whole entire hair brown so that way there was like different shades of browns and blondes in my hair and i kept lightening my hair and lightening my hair and got the courage to actually dye my hair completely blonde um back in march and it was fine at first it was something different it was something crazy but it was way, way, way too yellow. You see like in other videos that I posted, actually that video where I posted how I trim my hair by myself, my hair looks absolutely yellow. So I went to this salon and I avoid salons because one way or another I like it and then I switch my mind like hours later like, all right, this is not what I wanted. At first like it was good the lady gave me a good vibe she seemed to know what she was doing and i told her hey you know what um would you mind if you toned my hair and you know maybe styled it and if you style it can you see where maybe my trims aren't even you know if you can do that for me she said yeah um but she didn't hear me when i told her that my hair grab is easy to dye it's not like like other people's hairs were oh you have naturally dark hair and it's gonna take forever to get like a blonde pigment i was like no my hair has been like in the process of lightening since i was 16. that's four years of messing with my hair so i don't think she catch on to that because when she left the toner in my hair it turned my hair completely gray so i was not happy i said i sent her a message i was like this is not okay she's like oh your hair shouldn't have done that i'm like you think so she says oh you can come back blah blah and i'm like yeah 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 no i'm not coming back to you don't touch my hair anymore i'm just gonna do my own hair because i've been doing that for the past four years so might as well continue i went on the internet and said what can i do to take out the gray green nasty tone that was in my hair like this is a picture of my hair can you see how ugly and just unnaturally charcoaly that this looks i was so upset and i found out that there's remedies that you can do to your hair so one of the things that i found out was you can actually put ketchup in your hair Yeah, so I ended up putting a whole bunch of ketchup all over my hair. It is now 7.20. Look at my beautiful dog. So that's roughly 2 hours and 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out right now. This is how my hair looks like when I took off the foil paper and the ketchup. You can see how saturated it is. I looked up which ones were the best shampoos to kind of like use. And they say like clarifying shampoos. Anything that says purifying, detoxing, and like fortifying like those shampoos are clarifying shampoos so i got this one from garnier and this one is a conditioner for this one this one has the aloe extract so it's paraben free and silicone free it is not sulfate free so i know that it's going to sponge up it is going to dry my hair a little bit but i don't mind it if it's stripping off you know that nasty green purplish color that i have the good thing is i don't hate ketchup i like ketchup 
so the smell didn't bother me. I was watching a bunch of videos where a lot of people were actually bothered by the smell. I could care less, it's just ketchup. I'm gonna be mixing the shampoo with baking soda. I'm gonna just rinse out my hair and then put the shampoo mixed with the baking soda, really scrubbing out my hair. After scrubbing all that shit out, I can literally see like purple and green and you know that nasty color that was in my hair? I saw it strip out of my hair and I'm like, Jesus. You can get the same conditioner, mix it in with about two to three full lemons. I put it in a container about this big. It smells really good, I promise. <laughs> well, that's if you like lemon and aloe. I personally love lemon. You're getting a fresh lemon sweet smell here. I'm gonna put it all over my hair and I'm gonna actually use it as a conditioning mask. So I left that into my hair. If I fell asleep around like 12, I woke up around like 8 o'clock, 7.30 maybe. Either way, I have that mixture of lemon and conditioner in my hair for about like six, six, seven hours the whole time I was sleeping. And I woke up, I rinsed it out, and I jumped in the shower once again. I scrubbed my hair with shampoo again with the baking soda. And then I continued with my curly hair routine, all my products, shampoos, conditioner, creams, gels, everything. Now we're on this phase. So this is how my hair looks now. So I wanted to film this little journey because if any of you guys like have this experience and your hair is overtoned, um, yeah, I'm really happy with the results after I did all the hard work for it. So being in the salon, the real thing she really helped with was putting the toner there. If she would have just listened and put the toner for less amount of time, I probably could have had this result. But she left it in for a good amount of time, so my hair picked up on the gray and it pulled dark instead of, you know, pulled a little bit ashy. But at the end of the day, I am happy with the results. My hair is like this. My hair looks a lot more natural and I absolutely love it. If you notice, it actually does blend in better with my naturally dark hair. But again, I just felt like I had to share this little experience with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the footage, and the pictures, and my experience and my pain through the video. But um, yeah, I hope I get to see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I can't wait to put up more content for you guys. Okay? Bye, guys.